My next interview here, I am joining Cherise Bronte Tinkyu and Tessa Hampton, both of Tandy, the Trinidad and Tobago Association of Nutritionists and Dietitians. Did I get that right, ladies? Yes. Yes? yes? Right. Excellent. And we have some food in front of us, some of which looks really real and some of which, I don't know, it, yeah, they all look real, but also this is actually <laughs> demo, is not. It looks delicious. This is food models. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> food delicious models, for right? Aesthetics. <laughs> so we are speaking about uh, proper nutrition in regards to women's health. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, no better time than, well, we're celebrating International Women's Week here. You know, uh, on the 8th yeah. was International Women's Day. So uh, belated, happy International Women's Day to both of you. Thank you. And, uh, of course, we are here celebrating International Women's Week. And, you know, it's a great time to speak about women's nutrition and health. So join me and uh, let us get into the topic of what we're going into this morning. Well, today um, we do have a fun and exciting recipe to share with you. Um, but with proper nutrition, um, we always strive on getting the variety of foods. And therefore, you're getting the variety of nutrients. So it's very important for women's health. Um, we do have different um, periods in our life cycle that we deal with. Now, in some cases, we see um, polycystic ovarian syndrome right. occurring in a lot of young women. And this usually kind of brings about insulin resistance okay. as well as infertility as some of those conditions that women deal with. And nutrition plays a very important role um, in helping to manage things like blood sugar, um, proper weight management, right. as well as mood, you know, just making us feel better overall. So uh, what you're saying is that for the different stages of life, because you mentioned that, you know, things as such as polycystic ovarian syndrome, uh, and which leads to other complications such as infertility and such uh, for the, it generally um, attacks younger women. And, Correct. Um, and then, so nutrition plays a big role in managing that. But what about things in the later stages as well, such as menopause and such? So at the later stages, um, menopause usually um, marks the end of menstruation. And usually that kind of um, brings about a lower amount of estrogen in the body. So those are very um, good properties for protecting women from cardiovascular health. Um, sorry, cardiovascular disease. Right. My mistake. And what would you add to that, Tessa? So yeah, she's very right in what she's saying. So at that point, we no longer have the estrogen to protect our heart. So a heart disease rate becomes that similar to men. Wow. So it becomes extremely important that we modify our diet and our lifestyle. So, you know, well, how do we use nutrition to do that? What, what kind of balance do we need? So you need to look at what you're eating. So for instance, when we are in the period of our life when we are in menopause, you want to watch the amount of saturated fats in a diet. So that is watching the amount of red meats and different things, a lot of animal products. So right. you want to vary your protein sources, include some animal protein, have some whole grains, fruits, vegetables, healthy oils and fats, you know, like nuts, different avocado, oils, olive oil, etc. Right. Now, we, we touch on these two specific things, but are there other um, areas that are specific to women's health that can be managed using nutrition and a proper balance of your diet? Well, there is anemia. Um, a lot of women have low blood counts, especially with their menstruation cycle, mm -hmm. or even at leaks. We see it right. a lot often. So um, in order to kind of improve that condition, it's wise to increase your iron intake, okay. um, folic acid as well. So you get iron in a lot of foods like your food from animals, but you also get them in dark green leafy vegetables. You also have nuts, seeds, so tofu as well, which is a uh, plant-based food. Right. So you get um, some of those iron still in a lot of um, variety of products around the, you know, the country. Well, you know, um, in this day and age, a lot of people are on the go. Uh, when I'm speaking about women, uh, a lot of women are working women and they have a lot going on and they have very, very busy days and people may not have the time to, you know, go and prepare an entire meal or do a whole meal prep for the week and stuff. So what is an easy way that you could try to incorporate some of these nutritional elements in your day? Well, Tessa has a very fun, exciting recipe to share with us. So, um, Tessa, to that. take yes. it away. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... A lot of women, they start their morning with not a balanced breakfast. They tend to stop and get something on your way. And I mean, a lot of choices are not going to be healthy. So this is a simple smoothie that you can make. It takes you less than a minute. 
Now what's important in making a smoothie to balance blood sugar and for good health includes sources of fiber. So this smoothie actually has a cup of steamed cauliflower, you're not going to taste it, a handful of spinach, mm. it also has fruit in it. So you can use any fruit. I used pineapple because it's local, but you can use berries, you can use any fruit that you want. It also has chia seeds and it has hemp seeds for the protein as, as well as milk. So this is a full meal, obviously, if it's a full glass. Right. It comes up to 433 calories, and it gives high iron, high calcium, high protein for a woman to start her day. 433 calories, yeah, that's like yes. a full meal That's for a real. full meal. Yeah. So you can drink this, no excuses to get in your nutrition, and most importantly, it tastes good. Yeah, you know, it tastes good. <laughs> I mean, let's, let's, yeah. let's, yeah. let's call yeah. Lisa across, right? right? Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it said it's for women, so I'm the one to taste, not Carrie, yes. right? right. 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 He can definitely <laughs> have it. He can definitely <laughs> have it. But this is going to cater to all the conditions we talked about. It's right. going to balance your blood sugar to help the insulin resistance if you have it. And even if you don't have it, blood sugar control is something we should all strive for. Mm -hmm. It's also going to give you a source of iron to prevent anemia or reduce the likelihood of it happening. Right. And it's great when you're in menopause because, mm -hmm. again, it has a high amount of vegetables. It balances your fruit, healthy fats, etc. And these are, these are flax seeds and chia seeds. And, chia seed, and so that's in there? Just this, so oh. chia seeds, seeds is in here. So we had the flax seeds, but I really have hemp seeds in here. Oh, okay. So uh, shall we try? Yeah, I think we All should. Right, so then I'll take one. Well, thank you for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this is a carry size breakfast. Though. <laughs> when, <laughs> when I'm in diet mode. When, I, when I'm in diet mode, right? Okay, so I'm going to try it now. It has yogurt in it, is it? No, no it's just it's low fat milk. Low fat milk. Which mm. you can swap out for soy milk. It will give oh, you almond similar. milk as well. But yeah. So almond won't mm. give you as much protein. Mm. Almond is only about 0.8 grams of protein per cup. Whereas soy will give you about seven to eight, almost on par with low fat milk or dairy milk. Okay. So just bear that in mind. It tastes very healthy. Yes. And so I, like, I like green smoothies, so I, I will take I enjoy it. I'm tasting the fruit in there for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I'm, definitely. I'm enjoying this. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of vegetables too, so I don't mind tasting vegetables. And I love the it. beauty of it yeah. is well. that you can vary the fruit to change the taste. Right. Mm -hmm. So you can use frozen berries and that will make it sweeter. I did use pineapple, so it's a little bit more tart. Yeah. But every morning you can it's modify fresh. it to make it different. Is, are there any do's and don'ts when making a morning smoothie? I think so. Well, oh, sure. I just wanted to add on one thing. Um, vitamin C is also necessary for plant-based um, iron sources okay. to help boost the absorption as well in the body. So it's a great point that um, we mix together the fruit and the spinach right. in the smoothie as well. So that so you that's actually like get a, the a benefit of the spinach. Yes. yes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes a lot of sense. All right. See, that's why we have the professionals here <laughs> to tell us all about yes. it. And uh, of course, this has been a wonderful segment on women's nutrition and mm -hmm. of which extends to women's health and wellness as well. So I want to thank you both for joining us this morning. Was there anything you wanted to add? No, Lisa? just that no? we're going to have five, some smoothie. <laughs> you know, that's what's on the menu this morning. Definitely, right. definitely. Thank you so much, Cherise Bronte. Thank you. And Tessa Hampton for joining Thank us you. this morning. You're us welcome. This wonderful information and this wonderful smoothie. You're welcome. All right, we're going to take a short break and come back with much more. Stay with us.